since uh, the late 1990s, I kept seeing Austinites wearing front sight T-shirts and, and, and Patriots and Ron Paul supporters and, and then people like Joe Bannister coming here to be guests. He's wearing a front sight T-shirt. And I was like, hey, I'm about to have them as a sponsor. But the reason I have him on today is not as a sponsor, just as a guest, because he's trained thousands of police, law enforcement. He's trained thousands of citizens and talking to police and others. They say this is above law enforcement training. And so I was just honored when we got contacted uh, by Dr. Piazza, uh, Dr. Ignatius Piazza, uh, to be a sponsor on the show. And I thought, why not have him on as a guest to talk about when he's talking to these police and people and, and citizens, what are... What are they saying about bills to let the attorney general ban entire classes of firearms by imperial fiat when he wants to? Bills to put a million plus. They've made it secret the last six months, so we don't know. It was a million one hundred thousand then, according to the L.A. Times. So it's probably a million and a half by now. Uh, Americans, no judge, no jury, haven't been arrested. They just put you on a terror list. They're saying if you have bad credit, you'll be on the no-fly list. Now a no-buy, no-work list. I mean, this is right out of 1984. Uh, what they think about all these other bills to go after black powder and gun importation. I mean, it's really happening. That's why people are out there buying guns at record numbers. They've been reading the bills. And meanwhile, the media says it's a conspiracy theory. There, there's no new bills. And then right next to it, the New York Times going, yes, if you're on the terror list, no guns. Again, but they won't say how you got on the list or why you're on the list or how you get off the list. It's just the hallmark of tyranny. And the website uh, is frontsite.com. Uh, there's a, a bunch of other uh, ways you can check it out. Uh, you can also go to ignatius-piazza.com. We'll put links to that up on infowars.com. But again, frontsite, one word, dot com. Doc, it's good to have you on with us today. Oh, thank you very much, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm flattered that uh, you happen to listen to the show sometime, uh, but uh, I shouldn't be surprised if so many of my listeners over the years uh, have uh, told me how great your uh, training is. And, and I'm not hyping this. The word on the street is you've got some of the best training open to the public, period. And a lot of even law enforcement reviews say this is above law enforcement level training. What does that mean? Well, well, basically, if you went into a police academy and went through their program, when you got out at the end, um, you're, you're going to have, you know, basic law enforcement skills. Uh, or you can come to Front Sight for our four-day defensive handgun course, and at the end of that four days you will have better skills than what you would have received if you'd gone through the police academy or, or basic training on the military. And we, we even get people that are, that are SWAT team members that come out and take our classes because in that four-day period of time we can provide them with a more intensive experience which brings their level of skill up to a much higher level than what they would get, you know, going to, uh, you know, a police in-service training where they go to the range for two or three hours in between everything else they're doing. So, you know, a person that's serious about gaining a level of skill with a firearm, whether it be handgun, shotgun, rifle, submachine gun, select fire M16, whatever it might be, if you want to get a level of training that exceeds what you're going to find in the military and in law enforcement, but get it, in a very, very user-friendly, compassionate environment where nobody gets left behind. There's no, you know, drill instructor attitude. There's, There's not a bunch of mentality. macho baloney going on. You can just get down to the actual learning. Absolutely. You know, you're not going to sit there and listen to war stories uh, all day long or hear offensive language or anything like that. It's great for the entire family. And that's, I think, the reason why you're running into so many people. I mean, we've been training folks out there for 13 years, but we started back in April of 1996 on some leased facilities in California with 10 students in a two-day defensive handgun course. And the word of mouth about the experience that they get with Front Sight has just caused uh, us to essentially double every year. And we're now training, you know, thousands of students every weekend. In fact, we just uh, finished, well, what is today, Tuesday? We just finished up a class uh, that had uh, about 500 students in it this weekend. Uh, taking uh, handgun courses, our 30-state concealed weapon permit class. And, and, again, what you see is people coming out initially. Normally the, the husband comes out and takes the class. And, and by the time he's done, he goes, oh, I want to get my wife back here. And, and uh, then she wants all of the, the teenagers to get the training. And pretty soon they're telling you know their, their friends at the social club and at church. And it just continues to grow because what we try to do is literally provide a life-changing experience for people. 
they come in, uh, they're, they're maybe new to firearms or they've had firearms for years but never really learned the proper way to use them when it's needed most to defend one's life. And after that four-day period, they're, they're literally changed. Their complete outlook well, on life is, is different. Well, uh, Doc, uh, as you know, people who even have good firearms training lose it over time. I mean, I've been so busy the last decade plus that I've, you know, lost a lot of even my safety training and even, my, you know, my skill with long rifles, shotguns, handguns. It's still better than average. But then I can't imagine all these people out just buying guns for the first time, having them locked up and not knowing how to use them, maybe going out and shooting them once or twice. That is not the answer, obviously. And with all this gun buying, record gun buying is a good sign. Firearm purchasing, we need to have the training to go along with it. And I've told my wife, and she's a pretty good shot. I've taken her out to the shooting range you know, when I have time, and, and she's gotten you know good with a handgun. But we all need to do this. I need to take time out. I've been so busy for years, I don't even have a concealed carry. And I should have one uh, so I can protect myself. I kind of just macho ignore it. But the issue is everybody needs to take time out. And, and if I have the time, and I may make the time, uh, to come out to your facility uh, and go through it. But also a lot of uh, police go through your course. A lot of uh, other people do. Why are police agencies sending their folks out to be trained by you? I mean, this isn't just a claim you're making that it's such great training. Why is uh, your training better than theirs? Is it because they're still following older models uh, I mean, what type of training do people get? Well, you know, some some departments are still a little bit behind the times based on, you know, their, their personnel and, and equipment and their ability to do the training. Other departments are so big and bureaucratic that they have a real difficult time staying on top of the best training. But I think the the real reason that officers come out, and this is, this is an even greater testimonial to our program, officers, military officers as well as police officers, come out on their own dime to get our training because once they realize that what they're getting through their academies and their in-service programs are the basics and the minimum standard that the city council or the chief of police can afford in the budget, uh, they realize, you know what, you know, the best insurance is to be as good as I possibly could be with the equipment that they're giving me. And they come out on their own dime, purchase our courses, purchase our lifetime memberships, and train with us uh, to, to keep their skills at a very, very high, sharp level. I think that's the reason. It's you know it's the reason why a military, a, a Marine Corps officer, will come out and take our practical rifle course to get tuned up and ready before he's deployed. It's the reason why parents send their kids to us before those kids go into the military, so that they know the parents rest easy knowing, hey, I did everything I can to make sure that my kid has the ability to use that handgun, shotgun, and rifle that he may be given and, and, and thrown into harm's way. This is this is the reason why they come out. It's, a, it's, an, it's an intensive experience over a four-day period of time that basically exceeds the levels of training and skill that you can acquire through a police academy or through your basic training in the military. So this is immersion. Also, uh, I've looked at some of the bureaucratic training where they train you on this and they train you on that, and it's, it's, it's over a long period of time. You're not immersed. Uh, and uh, a lot of times cities are run by globalists and uh, mainline liberals who don't like guns, and so it's almost seen as evil. So yeah, th th that's why a lot of police and military, as you said, come out to take uh, your course. I want to get into your view on the gun grabbers and uh, you know, what you're hearing from police and military and also citizens coming in because you're dialed in at really the center of the gun culture. Like Larry Pratt's fighting it legislatively, kind of up on the mountain, uh, on the hill, but you're in the hinterland. You're out there with the people. I, I think of anybody out there, w one of the best cross-sections for intelligence uh, for the patriot movement, the liberty movement, freedom lovers, constitutionalists, to really know what the sense of the, of the uh, troops are, uh, you know, here in this nation, not just the military troops, but the American people. Uh, so I want to get into that in a few minutes, the time we have with you, Dr. Piazza. But first, uh, I keep plugging this on air, and I get all these inquiries, people saying, explain it to me. How do folks get this free handgun? Uh, how, uh, how are you offering it? Why are you offering it? And, and tell us about the different services of frontside.com. Okay. Uh, basically, if they go to frontsite.com, F-R-O-N-T-S-I-G-H-T.com, they can subscribe to 15 free gun training reports. And I'll start training them right there at their computer with some of the same material that we provide to the students who travel across the country and spend thousands of dollars to take our classes. So make sure they do that. Uh, secondly, we have training manuals available. These are manuals that teach all of the same techniques that we teach in all of our different courses. Those are available on the website. 
And then they'll also see the free gun uh, link. And basically the way this works is that they can receive our five-day training program. It's the four-day defensive handgun course plus the one-day 30-state concealed weapon permit course, which, by the way, you walk away with everything you need to apply for and receive non-resident permits in the state of Florida, Nevada, and Utah. With current reciprocity agreements in place with those three states, that allows you to carry in over 30 different states in the union.